In this video, we will create and add the custom robots.txt to our blog. Robots.txt is important on every website because this file will be submit on Google Webmaster tool. This process guys instruct the Google web crawlers on how to index your website. This file contains the few lines of syntax for web crawlers. It's saved on the root directory of the website file system. Let's scroll down. And as you see guys, this is the text of the robot.txt for blogger. As you see, there have a four block here. And as you see guys, this is the text of robots.txt for blogger. And there have a four blocks here that this allow user agent, allow and sitemap. And as you see, guys, this is the comment section. You can write your own word here in this comment line. This is the comment. And I write this. You can write this in your own word, but it doesn't need it to write again. And this is the syntax, guys. This allow in the search, meaning all URL has a string of search has to be this allow in Google search result. I already write the definition of this guys in this section below for user agent search this is the meaning if your URL blog match in this search string it will not crawl in the search engine result user agent this syntax is serve you a better ads from Google Adsense if you have a uh, Google Ads in your blog the allow syntax refers to home page meaning the web crawlers will crawl your index or website home page and the last is important the sitemap this syntax refers to the sitemap of your blog by adding this it are simply optimizing our blog crawler rate and let's back to top as you notice guys i comment out this syntax because it's not needed at this time i write this in my own and this is the live sitemap syntax because this sitemap is for posts under 1 to 500 only if your posts reach to 501 you can comment out this just remove this sharp text if you reach the 501 post to your blog to 1000 okay so let's copy this and paste it to our blog copy Control c and go to settings search preferences and edit the custom robots.txt and yes and paste and save and already saved let's try to access this robots.txt and there we have it the robots.txt are added to our blog Oop. We have a miss guys we need to edit this url sorry guys let's back again this is important copy this sorry for this guys i forgot And finally edited save changes let's try to access and as you see I replaced the text sorry for that guys let's try to access this this is the XML of your blog and it works fine and it works fine you can also see my robots the text if you want and as you see guys, this is my robots.txt in my website. And as you notice, I have a different from yours because this website is WordPress. That's why I have this allows uh, four folders and I have a 
tree sitemap because my website has a live tree sitemap and for blogger is one only and now guys our blog is complete and ready to submit in the major search engine such a uh, google being in yandex we already add a google analytics tracking id to our blog we edit the custom 404 page and we add the no index no follow meta tag in sitemap page and privacy policy page and the lastly we added the robots.txt like and share this video guys and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and thank you very much for your support see you next video bye for now